What up, y'all? This is Paula with One Channel, and we're gonna work on a cloud type beat. So, you know, cloud hip hop type. And um, you know, as you can see, we already have this opening melody. And I put this already here because it's not incredibly important how the open melody goes. I mean, I'm gonna say incredibly important. Obviously, you want like a chill type of vibe to it. But I'm gonna show you this trick that's uh, just. Uh, how do you explain this one? So we're just gonna copy, we're gonna clone actually, bring it to six. So we got this in pattern six. Uh, once again, copy it from here to pattern two. So we got it in the mixer channel six. So it should be twice as loud at this point. We're not gonna do that. We're going to go to, what is it? Six, six. We're gonna go to the come over. We're gonna go hit on the right preset. Blur white. That's how you get that cloud effect. Without it, it sounds like this. So. Without it, we could even do something nasty like this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the white noise effect right there. That's how you make these cloud types. So you make that, that's a cloud melody on, on deck right there. But we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. So I mean, after this point, I mean, it becomes pretty like straightforward. You, know, you just want a bass that kind of makes sense. Let's see what we can find in uh, GMS again. I. GMS so everybody can participate. Let's turn the melodies down. This bass pattern kind of sucks, but I, I mean, I, I use that example because like, the bass pattern is incredibly important in this situation. I mean, you just want to pick something that makes sense with how your beat starts, I guess. Look at all these chords. Like, I played this manually and I added in a couple, so I did a little bit of both. Like, I played it probably like four of these notes at a time, and then I just added like a fifth. Probably three, four of these notes at a time, and then added like a fifth on each line. That's my secret, of course. Let's keep it moving. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I mean, we're pretty much done at this point. That's how you do these clap types. Uh, you probably want something that you probably want a reverb on the snare, and then uh, just whatever kick works. So, we're just gonna choose this generic pack. Uh, try this in a half kit. This is free. Sure. Pick just this kick. Then uh, pick a snare from somewhere. You, I mean, 
obviously when it picks sounds, it makes sense with the beat. I mean, that's that's a no-brainer. Sure, whatever. What scenario can we find from there? Sure, this Drake one. Then, uh, <clears throat> when you make your kick snares or whatever you try to do, well, we can do our high. Hopefully that recorded, right? What's hilarious is I don't even like hi-hats half the time. <clears throat> Let's see if we can uh, spice it up using some classic stuff. So we got a three right here. Alright, what, what are we doing here? Any gross beater over here? See, uh, I mean, whatever, you know. That's on you to uh, add that part or not. Seems like every producer uses gross beats for hi hats, but uh, whatever. It's like, how is that so different from the first pattern I threw down? I probably could have just made that one without gross beats, but we're just gonna keep it. Okay, so we got a kick snare in this building. Oh yeah, my key with the kick snares is to. Um, Try to freestyle, freestyle it in there. Like, imagine a singer, rapper on your beat, and then figure out how like your kicks in it would go from that point. So, Pretty much got the whole thing. Get that money, yeah. Get that money. Get that money. Get that money. Get that money, get it. Get that money. Typically I would eight bar kick snare, but we're just gonna four bar this time. So I can speed this video up. All eight bar barring is variation. As you can see I variated. This is a 16 right here. This is an 8, 8, 8. Sorry. So we're going to amp this up a little bit. The kick. So here's the kick. Okay, so first we're going to turn these down a little bit. The kick, we're going to uh, just use a good old free EQ2.
there you are, kick. It's like we didn't hear him the first time. Put that last part down. This kick is quiet, like, period. So maybe. Up that a little bit. That snare selection is actually pretty cool. So we're just gonna copy. We're gonna double layer it, which is like how you get it on speakers well. Turn it down a little bit like that to match. That's pretty much all I do to snares. Maybe make sure like that. It's probably gonna be like way over here. See how they're like almost opposite into the spectrum? Like this one's far to the right and the kick is like far to the left. I'm gonna tone that down so like you want that separation point to be there, which I, which I pretty much made right there. Cloud B. It's not the best ever. Let's see if we can add in like a alt melody. This can be a challenge right here, but we'll see what we can get. Um, and we're gonna pick a cloud sound. So what we got here that sounds very cloud-like? Oh, almost everything here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, pad. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what it is. See what I'm saying? <laughs> sure, man, let's just play. This would be probably like a better transition for like midway through the beat, but you kind of get what I'm getting at. Like without the mysterious part. Then with the mysterious part. Then with and then with the mysterious part, kick and uh, hats. There you guys go. Uh, 
thanks for watching guys it's pretty much how to make a cloud beat maybe not the best of all time but it's up there with the best of all time thanks for watching guys